This is problem number four for section 3.5. And this problem it says find the derivative of y with respect to x for this function, two cosine x cotangent x. Now you'll notice we have multiplications between these, but this is a constant. So we're just gonna include this constant with um, one, of our, uh, one of our functions for the product rule. So we're gonna have to use the product rule here. And I'm gonna say that two cosine x is the u function. And cotangent x is the v function. So right here I'm gonna write u, u prime, v, v prime. So u is two cosine x, v is cotangent x. And now I need to take the derivatives of these functions. So I'm gonna start by saying the derivative of cosine x I know is negative sine x. So when I take the derivative of two cosine x, I get negative two sine x. And then I take the derivative of cotangent x, and the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. So I'm gonna write negative cosecant squared x here for v prime. And now I can go ahead and use the product rule. So I'm gonna say that dy over dx equals u prime v, so u prime is negative two sine x. I'm multiplying that times v, which is cotangent x. And then I have to take plus v prime, which is negative cosecant squared x. So this is negative cosecant squared x. And I'm gonna multiply that times u, which is two cosine x. When I multiply these together, I end up with negative two sine x cotangent x. This will be minus two cosecant squared x cosine x. Now, I, it looks to me like I can do some simplifying here. I know cotangent x is really, from our trig, uh, tri trig identities, I know that this is actually uh, cosine x over sine x minus, and two, this will be two cosecant squared x. Well, that's just one over sine x, or one over sine squared x. So that's not I'm gonna cancel this cosine at all, so I'll leave this the same. But I can see here is sine x times cosine x over sine x, the sine x cancel, and I'm left with negative two cosine x minus two cosecant squared x cosine x. And this is our derivative for the original function.